Joe, last night, got rushed to the hospital, 911. He was in the hospital all night under observation. They released him this morning, and he showed up today. Joe was okay. He just happens to be one of those guys where the erection lasted longer than four hours. <laughs> The Kings of Dua, five guys in Apollo. We got a bunch of famous and infamous relatives, guests, and associates. And you got me, the third funniest guy in Florida. But I'm going to tell you this story here. The first two guys refused to come to New Jersey. <laughs> that pissed Dominic off. So Dominic got the first two guys booked for the Dominican Republic. <laughs> and he threw in the mini bar dream package. <laughs> so I'm thinking, by the end of the night, I might be number one. <laughs> you know, I'm from New Jersey. I moved 19 years ago to go down south. Well, I come back. I forget how tough New Jersey is. Yesterday, I had a fender bender in Jersey City. I called my insurance agent, and he said to me, go to Jersey City Auto Body and get a rough estimate. So I go into Jersey City Auto Body. I ask for a rough estimate. The guy came out, walked around my car, and then beat me up. <laughs> you want to talk about a rough crowd? Before the night started, I went to the bar. I'm sitting at the bar and I meet Lefty Lucchese, Two Fingers Falcone, and Big Pussy Policino. And they were the wives. <laughs> and let me tell you, Big Pussy's pretty cute. I'm not a stock, I'm not a stock market guy. But we're so close to New York, if I hear a tip, I want to share it. So I'm going to give you the tip that I heard. Louisville Slugger. The guy downstairs in the parking lot told me every car that pulled up today had two baseball bats in the front seat. <laughs> Let's go back to Dominic. Everybody knows that Dominic is a character. Everybody knows he's somebody special. So I wanted to know, when did they find out that Dominic was special? Well, I dug back and I found out third grade, Holy Rosary Elementary School, Sister Camilla. Sister Camilla is doing vocabulary and she says, does anybody in here, can you give me a word, a sentence, that starts with the word fascinate? Well, all the kids in the class are looking at each other, looking at each other. Dominic's got his hand up. So Sister Camilla says, Mr. Puccio, can you give me a sentence with the word fascinate? Dominic says, yes, I can. He says, fascinate. My cousin Louise has got a sweater with 10 buttons, but her tits are so big that she can only fascinate. Fascinate. Dominic, when he was in high school, he was babysitting the Faziano children. And there were three children in the Faziano family. And one day the mother came home and said, Dominic, I'm not going to let you babysit no more because I heard that you were a little bit rough on one of my kids. Dominic says, what are you talking about rough on your kids? He said, I wasn't rough on anybody. She said, no, they told me you were rough. He said, on who? Tony? 
Maria? Or that fat ugly one? Which one are you talking about? <laughs> Let me tell you, we were supposed to have a lot of, uh, you know, Dominic is married to the beautiful, young, and I'll say this a few times, young Kendall. And uh, Dominic now lives in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. And Dominic and Kendall, this spring, were planting flowers. And they were out there planting flowers, and Dominic's doctor drove by. And Dominic's doctor stopped and said, Dominic. And Dominic stood up and put his arm around Kendall with a big smile. And the doctor said, Dominic, you look really good. And Dominic said to the doctor, I'm doing exactly what you told me to do. And the doctor said, what did I tell you to do? And with a big smile, Dominic said, you told me to be cheerful, and you told me to have a hot mama. <laughs> the doctor said, Dominic, I told you to be careful. You've got a heart murmur. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of special people here tonight. And I want to say that to you. The two mayors, one from Secaucus and one from Jersey City, were supposed to be here tonight. They canceled because they remembered tonight was payoff night. <laughs> that, that's what you told me to say, right? Now. <laughs> I also want to tell you that uh, Will the Thrill, where's Will? Will the Thrill. Now let me tell you something. Everybody knows on the computer, WTF. Well, that's Will Thrill Forever. Fire. Fire. Will won the World Poker Championship, $800,000, and the Diamond Bracelet. Eight, nine years later, anybody wants to look after the show, we'll show you the bracelet. It's now an anklet, and it's from NYPD. <laughs> Will win. I uh, want to mention that local 641, they're here, the Teamsters, and I want to tell you, they won't tell you this story, but I'm going to tell you this story. Between Jersey City and Newark, there's a big giant hill and a valley that goes up. And the bottom of that valley was a sausage factory. Bottle is Italian sausage. And one day, the sausage factory catches on fire, and Mr. Bottle has all his Italian recipes in the safe. And he calls the Newark Fire Department and says, you got to get here. I'm going to pay you $50,000 if you get that safe out and save my recipes. When the Newark Fire Department comes screaming down, they go down the hill, they throw the brakes on, and they stop. And the Fire department chief gets out and says, hey, look, we can't get in there. That fire's too hot, too intense. The ceiling's going to cave in. Can't go. Well, Mr. Bottom wants the recipes. He calls the Jersey City Fire Department. They come running. They fly. Come down that hill street and they stop. The gets out and they look at the fire and they say, it's too hot, too intense. We can't get in. So Mr. Bottom calls local 641 and he calls the Teamsters. And Wayne and his guys, they jump in the back of a pickup truck. They got fire hoses. They got rakes. And they come down. They, and Mr. Bono says, give me that safe and I'll give you $100,000. When they come down to get to that hill, they go right down that hill. And they drive right into the fa sausage factory. The walls come down. The roof comes down. They're in there fighting. Their arms get singed. Their eyebrows are singed. And they pull out that safe. They open it up and all the recipes are in there. And Mr. Bottle says, I'm giving you $100,000. And they put Wayne on television and they say, Wayne, you got a check for $100,000. What are you going to do with that money? And Wayne says, the first thing I'm going to do is get them freaking brakes fixed on that trip. <laughs> I live in Florida. I love Florida. 
But when you live in Florida, life changes. I'm gonna tell you three quick Florida jokes, and then I'm done. The first one, and they're all true. I didn't make none of this up. Next door to me lives a lady, and she keeps show dogs. Real pretty show dog. The dog's out in the backyard running around, gets his light cut, they take it to the vet, they put five, uh, 15 stitches in the hind leg. The vet says, ma'am, go to CVS, buy a tube in there, put the nair around the incision, keep the hair away from the cut. So she goes to CVS. She says, I need a tube in there. The pharmacist says, listen, ma'am, with this heat and humidity, if you're gonna put that nair under your arm, I wouldn't use a roll on deodorant for two, three days. You might get a rash. She says, thank you, sir, but I'm not putting a nair under my arm. He says, well, listen, if you're gonna put that nair on your legs, do me a favor, don't wear nylon stockings for two, three days, you might get a rash. She said, sir, thank you, but I'm not putting it on my legs. He said, well, just out of curiosity, where are you putting that nair? She says, I'm putting it on my schnauzer. He says, well, in that case, don't ride a bike for two weeks. <laughs> All right, my second Florida story. I live in Florida, everybody in Florida plays golf. They signed me up to play golf with this old guy. This old Jewish guy comes out. He's got a brand new pair of alligator golf shoes. So I'm looking at him. We get out to the first hole. We're just getting ready to tee off. He stops, he takes out a blue pill. He cuts it in four and takes one fourth of the pill before he tees up. I said, uh, just out of curiosity, I said, was that a Viagra? He said, yes, it was. I said, well, what are you going to do with a quarter of a Viagra before you play golf? He says, I just need my dick to stick out far enough so I don't pee on my golf shoes. <laughs> She says, back in the day when I was young, I jumped this kid's bones in a second. But 75, I'm, no, I think about myself. Every time she goes, the same kid's grows back in the groceries. One day she has about three or four glasses of wine. She goes to Publix to buy her groceries, and the kids, the same kid's there. He says, ma'am, can I walk these groceries to your car? She says, you know what? What do I got to lose? I'm 75, I'm a widow. She says, yeah, you can walk into my car. So as he's walking the groceries to her car, she says to him, listen, I want to be honest with you. I got an itchy pussy. The kid says, ma'am, you better point that one out to me, because all these Japanese cars look the same. <laughs> There's one person that was supposed to be here tonight. He's not here, and he offered his regrets, Dominic. He told me to your beautiful young wife, and he was the one who introduced you to your beautiful young wife, and he couldn't be here for other reasons, Jeffrey Epstein. 